Welcome back, loves. So today is actually a really fun and exciting video to film, even though it's a little bit of a daunting task, but it is my 2022 bag collection video. I have quite a few this year, and some are very well used, some are not, so I'm excited to walk through all of that with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing my bag collection video, stay tuned. No, oh, I've been looking for a love inside for someone I appreciate and I've been Okay, so I figured for this year's bag collection video I would go by size. I think that's the easiest way to break it down. I think in the past I've done it by like oldest to newest. So I think this is the easiest way for me to stay organized during this video. So let's get started. Okay, first off is my newest bag and this is the felici in the black empreinte leather from louis vuitton this is actually my newest ish bag um i would say like my newest designer bag um i do have like a sprinkling of like the mid tier bags um but this bag i purchased for wedding season i've been going to a lot of weddings and I wanted an all black little clutch bag that was in a decent price point. So I grabbed this one. It does come with two wallet inserts. Um, one is a zip and one is a card slot holder. And they're great for this bag, but I don't have them in here right now. They're actually on a different shelf with my SLGs. And I'm going to do a different video for my SLGs and my travel bags. I just felt like it was too much to put into one video. So overall give you a quick little review my favorite things about this bag are that it is structured it sits by itself um, on the shelf i also love that it has the d rings that can be folded in or be, can be left out to have a strap so if you don't want to wear a strap and you just want to carry it as a clutch you have that option there's no rings showing but it does come with this beautiful felici chain from louis vuitton I just love that I can actually swap out different chains though because sometimes I don't want it to be such a long crossbody. I want it to be maybe like a short shoulder bag. So the ability to do that is awesome. Some of the stuff that I don't love and I haven't had it for that long yet is I don't love the interior fabric. Um, it is different than any other interior I've had from Louis Vuitton. It is not a microfiber. It is a very like canvasy fabric and i feel like it gets marked up pretty easily i mean it's pretty easy to clean i just feel like it's not what i would pick ideally for this bag or any bag so don't love that and a pro and a con is that i do love the look of the snap but i don't always love it because if there's not enough in here it's hard to close that's just with any snap bag but I do have zippered bags that cover that for me. And this is just a great starter bag. I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a well-made leather evening bag um, at a pretty decent price point for Louis Vuitton. Great quality. And as always, these are this is a classic style. I feel like it has a classic silhouette, very structured, holds a decent amount, holds my phone, a wallet, sunglasses, sometimes a key fob. Um, and it has like lipstick in there as well, but I do think with prices going up and price increases happening every year This one is a great one to grab if you like the style. It's very classic very simple and It comes in so many different variety of colors. So That is the Felici Next up is the Pachette Accessoire bag in the monogram canvas. This one is I've had it for over a year, so it's not like completely new, but it does come with a leather strap. This one was really hard to find and to get. I did end up buying it from Louis Vuitton brand new. Um, I was able to reach out to like a customer service representative online and they were able to find this bag for me and ship it to me. Actually, I think I got it for my birthday last year, which is October. So honestly, I've had it for a year and I've used this so much. I also have a bag chain that I prefer to use it with over the leather um, the leather strap. And this one is from Organize My Bag. I will link it below for you guys. I also have a code if you want 
to get anything from the store their quality of their chains is so good i've had this chain longer than i've had the bag and it's still beautiful and it has the exact same look as the louis vuitton felici chain but you can wear this as a shoulder and so it's great that i can have this option for a chain for my felici as well and just think it adds a little something this bag holds so much i think it's because it's canvas and it's very pliable it just has like the ability to hold a ton so it's a great grab and go for the summer i do think it is a summer bag um which is why getting the felici was kind of like on my list was i wanted something that was a little bit more fall and winter and this bag i know it's like in the thousands now like over a thousand when i got it it was i think 680 so I think that's a fair price point for it. I don't know if I'd pay a thousand, but I use this bag a ton, so maybe I would if I wanted to replace it. Um, and this is just very simple, nothing too fancy about it. Um, it does have one pocket on the inside. That pocket does not hold my phone, but it holds my wallet. So if I ever want to keep like my wallet or like I have keys or something sharp in there and I want to keep it separate from my other like items in there, I'll put I'll put it in this pocket, but yep no frills and i have sprayed the strap and the tab with apple guard so it's holding up really well it's patinaing very nicely and yeah love this bag <laughs> staying on the louis vuitton train here per usual which will be a common theme i have my two for the price of one pusha accessoire uh, no, multi push accessoire from Louis Vuitton in the bi color. Um, I just thought this line was just different. I wanted something from it, and I really did like the multi push but I felt like I wanted it in the leather. So I love the straps that come with it, the different options, and truly how I wear it is how you're seeing it right now. Is I usually wear the pouches separately. Um, this pouch actually holds my phone this is a 12 pro fits right in there see if you guys can see um and a wallet and it's a great little tiny pouch to grab um i do tend to gravitate towards the felici if my outfit's already pretty busy since this print is a little bit louder than the rest having a nice just plain leather bag is great but this also is a great print if you're just wearing like a very neutral outfit and you just want to add a little something. Like even with the sweater I'm wearing, I could wear this and it would look great. But um, yeah, I definitely wear these both separately. This pouch is actually bigger than the um, Pusha Accessoire pouch. I think I've done a video on like the comparison. It actually holds more. It's a little bit bigger on the side. But I do love wearing these um, pouches pretty often um this one's a great one for during the day and i love that this strap can actually this is like the best drop one of the best drops life of ever made can become a crossbody because sometimes you're holding it and it gets like heavy on your shoulder and you want to wear it as a crossbody boom you can do it right then and there and then i also have um non louis vuitton like canvas straps that um give it a more sporty look looks a little bit more like the canvas Push it, a multi pochette accessoire and gives it more of a different like sporty vibe that I can throw on to either of these bags and have it be like more of like the bum bag style. So these are great. Um, I was initially really worried about how the bicolor cream on the inside of the Empreant was going to wear. And you know, I have not been careful with this at all. I've treated it like if it was an all black bag and so far not a mark at all um i've not treated it with anything this is just the way it came and it's very well loved i will say i purchased this bag on fashion file and i think i was able to save like 500 dollars at the time and it was brand new condition if you can find this bag or if you want this bag you can probably find it pre-loved um, for a lower price than what is on the website Louis Vuitton. So I would definitely suggest looking online. For some reason, the leather versions don't always hold up in resale value, which is kind of odd, but it's good for us because we can buy the bags we want for a little bit less, save a little bit of money. So love this. I love the chains. This braided leather gold chain 
obsessed. And these did come with the bags. Um, all Louis Vuitton. And yeah, love a versatile, functional, and you know, has variety type of bag. Okay, taking a left turn is one of my most random bags, but it is a vintage Prada nylon shoulder bag. I truly have no idea what the actual name of it is. I think it's called like Tessudo Pouch because they went through a phase having kind of like very random names, but this is a vintage bag. I originally was going to purchase the Prada re-edition with the one we all know, but I just didn't love the shoulder strap on it. Um, I do still lust after the bag, but I felt like for the price point, I should really, really love the way the shoulder drop was. So I found this one on Fashion File. This is not sponsored, by the way, and I, everything you're seeing, I purchased with my own money. Um, nothing was gifted. So um, this bag is one that I found for, I think it was like 500 or, or under, and it is everything that I wanted in the Prada re-edition bag. So it has the nylon fabric, but it has a much wider base. So it fits so, so much. My phone actually fits like flat at the bottom, which is awesome. And then it has a leather strap that has these really cool like turn like rings. So you can kind of like swing it around. And what's really cool is that you can actually add a long chain and flip the top handle back doesn't stick up like the other one um, does. And this bag, I mean, it was definitely not brand new, but there was like no, you know, any weird odor, odors or anything. And this bag just is holding up so well. And it's such a great like errand grab and go bag, or if I'm going to a concert, and I know I have to keep the bag small, this is my go-to bag because I can actually hold like my phone, my husband's phone, keys, sunglasses like everything in this little bag and it was just a great purchase and i got this one this year so i have a ton of like new bags new to me bags and this prada is just one of my faves okay back on louis vuitton this is actually a seasonal bag this is the petite sack plat in the oh gosh in the sunrise pastel this is a seasonal uh, color slash line that they did this summer, spring and summer. And I just thought it was so beautiful and I wanted something from it. I just didn't want to commit to like a big bag. So I was able to grab this one and it comes with a beautiful like robin's egg blue strap that has pink glazing. I just think this bag was made so well um great little structured bag not gonna lie does not fit a ton um but it does fit my phone and my wallet and my sunglasses and that is all i can ask for from a tiny bag and then the interior if you guys can see has these beautiful louis vuitton like florida lease um details on the inside and it's just a beautiful beautiful bag um this one you know i definitely want to give another season with like I want to have it for another summer and you know I definitely think I could stand to <laughs> definitely slim down my collection but as of right now this bag is just like a stunning little piece of art that is sitting in my closet and is waiting for its debut for either like a fun little travel trip or for next summer and it's just so darling and this is actually, it looks like leather up close. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be able to show, but it's actually a canvas. So it's very durable. I did not spray it with anything. I did wear it a decent amount of times when I got it this uh, summer and it still looks great. I am a little worried about the interior because it's a light fabric, which I guess I do have fabric interiors. Um, gonna be careful I do see like a little bit of like discoloration here maybe from like my hands like just going in and out of the bag but so beautiful very like pastel Lisa Frank vibes and out of my comfort zone which is why I was excited to have it and it's still beautiful and even just looking at it now I'm like what a well-made 
beautiful fun bag. Up next is one of my little darlings. This is the Mini Capucines by Louis Vuitton and it is in the black leather with the gold hardware. And this is the original version. It has the feet at the bottom and I purchased this over a year ago. Um, this was way before it's gotten to like the $6,000 range, which is insane to me. I paid like around four for it. So like already <laughs> have saved a ton of money on that. Um, and this bag is just one of my absolute favorites. It is a classic for me. And I wish I could add more to the collection in different colors, but at that price point, I just, I just could not unless I found like the most perfect one. So what I love most about this bag is its structure. Very well structured. I love its little feet and it surprisingly holds a ton. I know that if I'm taking it out for the night, um, I'm probably going to carry it top handle. It does come with this thick black uh, Louis Vuitton leather strap, but I don't really tend to wear it. Um, I usually let it hang down if I'm going to even have it on the bag. Um, I love the very structured look and, you know, layout of the bag. It does have a like a leather divider on the inside. I have like stuff in all of my bags, which is so funny, which means I actually use them. This has a uh, lip liner in it. That's funny. <laughs> and a wrapper, a gum wrapper. Great. Um, it has a divider on the inside. Um, probably really hard to see. But uh, usually what I do is I put my... A uh, phone on one side and my wallet on the other and then I will keep like if I need to bring keys with me or anything else I'll keep it like on one side of the front um, this does not have a magnetic or a snap closure this just fits right into a little loop in there um, I honestly thought that was gonna bother me but it does not at all because when I'm grabbing things in and out it's nice that this can just like it can hang over it can be just kind of sitting on top and it doesn't make it so that it's like it caps off your bag i can actually stuff a little bit more and it can stick out a little bit which is great the one thing i don't like about this bag is where the d-rings are um, placement wise they are in the interior on the front diagonally and it makes it really annoying to put the strap on and off so i actually tend to leave it off i do actually put this strap on the mini capucines if i'm looking for you know another way to wear it besides top handle for a night out so this is a great option for me um but the strap itself is great i just would probably wear it with other bags um it definitely gives it a dress down look uh, but i tend to carry this bag as like a more formal slash dressed up um outfitter style vibe so that is my mini capucines Oh my gosh, so cute and so well made. Um, this one's actually made in France. Um, and if you can find it at a lower price point, it holds up so well. Um, I'm happy I got it when I did because, you know, now it's just crazy. Okay, another one of my favorites is <laughs> the Palm Springs Mini. Oh my gosh, I love this bag i have a history with this bag i this is my third one um i originally was on the hunt for it for so long and i had the best essay that no longer works at louis vuitton and he helped me find the original the original actually had a canvas lip over the zipper which caused rubbing which actually made the uh, canvas print like chip off or rub off and it was considered defective so um when i purchased it originally i loved the bag but it was rubbing and so i brought it in and he was like i'll find you another one we got another one but the same problem ended up happening and then finally louis vuitton released a new version with the zipper um in front i actually didn't think i was gonna like this one i was willing to actually just like keep the defective one um but um he did find it for me we exchanged it it did take a little bit for him to find it for me and i remember like this is the indication of a great bag is that i missed it so much when i didn't have it um just when like needed it and this bag holds so much this is a sneaky mini bag it holds 
anything you could think of. I've put my Kindle in here. I've put my phone, headphones, like a, a mini agenda in here. Like you can fit so much into this bag. Sunglasses, regular glasses. It's just a great travel, travel bag and it's just the most adorable thing. The one thing I didn't like about the bag is the length of the backpack straps, but I actually finally gave in and decided to take off the bottom part. This is actually the bottom part of the strap and I went ahead and just clipped it on directly to this. This bag is meant to be interchangeable with the straps and you can actually wear it as a crossbody. But when I did this, it's just easier to leave it the way it is as a backpack. And I don't mind because if I'm gonna carry it, I'll carry it with the top handle. Um, but otherwise I wear it as a backpack and it's just so cute. I love this bag and I know it's not as popular as it used to be, but that does not bother me at all. I just, I love what I love. I buy what I love and this backpack is so great. When people ask me whether they should get this, I always say yes a hundred times. And I believe when I make my wish list video, or maybe on my old one, I've, I've even talked about maybe getting a bigger one of these. Um, I just think it's a great shape. It's just so cute. I love the black leather accents onto it and just a lovely, lovely bag. So I definitely would add more to my collection in different sizes. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorites. Onto some like medium, small regular size bags we have my chanel classic flap this is in the size small and this is actually a vintage bag this bag is over i think like 20 something years old um and it has the 24 karat gold plating on it so if you can see it's very yellow gold and uh, there is just something about vintage chanel that just has my heart it's so well made. It just feels luxurious. And this series, even though it's so old, really, really held up so well. Um, and the puffing is beautiful on it. And I just had to grab it. With Chanel Classic Flap bag prices being what they are, which is like in the insane like $7,000 range, $8,000 range. Um, I was able to find this bag for I think around like 4,000 and I think it looks better than the newer bags. I think it's gonna last longer and it's just beautiful. So um, this is a double flap and I will say like I do wish it was a little bit bigger but I love the way this size looks on my body and my frame and I do think it holds a decent amount but I always <laughs> starting to just like want things to be more things to be held in my bags so um this bag is in phenomenal condition it does have some i guess i would say like some creases here from whoever owned this bag before me um did not shut the double flap correctly i tend to just tuck in the other flap and it actually helps it keep structure when i'm storing it so i don't need to snap it closed and I think the strap length or the chain length as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody is perfect. And I tend to just like grab it and go with the longer strap. So beautiful, beautiful bag. Always happy to answer questions about like vintage bags and share information around, you know, how I end up finding them. Um, and you know, my advice is if it's a reputable seller, um, I actually got this one from Fashion File. I guess there's a running theme here. Um, if it's a reputable seller and it's in great condition and it's vintage and it has the 24 karat gold um, and doesn't have any odor and it's no rubbing, like I would say like run and grab it because these prices are just getting so ridiculous that I can't imagine spending what they're asking these days. So I'm happy to have this one in my collection. Okay, another new one is actually my Celine belt bag in the nano size. Um, this is actually how I keep it stored on my shelf. Um, the top handle is very curved and so I try to make sure that it stays and keeps its shape with the styrofoam that comes with the bag. Um, and this is the nano size. It actually holds a ton. Uh, this is obviously in the black leather color. 
Um, and if I had a like lusting love affair with Celine belt bags, every time I saw one online, I just was drawn to it. I thought it was beautiful, but I could not for the life of me figure out what size to get. I originally wanted it to be like a work bag and the way they're shaped makes it really difficult to fit a laptop in the largest size. So once I kind of like decided like I wasn't going to get the largest size. Um, I figured the Nano is actually a great size. It comes in, a, these come in a ton of sizes. So, um, and the reason why I originally went with this size was because of the closure. It is, the belt bag closure usually has like a clasp like hook thing. Um, but the, this size actually has a magnet. So you're essentially supposed to have it just magnetized on. I will say I love the size. I love the bag. I love the strap. It drives me insane when this bag does not magnetize closed. And so <laughs> that is something that I've been trying to figure out whether or not I can handle and deal with because I like to use my bags. Like I use my bags as much as I can. And if something bothers me about a bag, I won't use it. So, um, <laughs> I just love this bag so much. So it's so beautiful. So we're trying to figure out ways to get around it. Maybe I need to put an organizer in there to keep the button popped out a little bit more. But that being said, it does not like fold like completely open when it's not uh, like completely closed. So that's good. Like my stuff's not flopping everywhere, but it is a little annoying because this is a bag that I carry for work so when i'm going to work meetings i usually put my planner in here it's great for travel for work where i can just like throw a ton of stuff in here it's a great size great bag and it smells so good all right i'm gonna try to grab this one this weekend and see how i can make it work but i just love this bag and it has an adjustable strap and um this is definitely a newer one that i grabbed this year so still working out the kinks um if you guys have this bag in any of the sizes, please let me know what you think about the closures. Is the clasp, like the hook closure, harder or easier than this? Because at that point, at this point, I'm like willing to maybe go a size, one size up and deal with the hook or size down, depending on if the magnet works better on the size. So we'll see. I'm gonna play around with this one a little bit more because this size is truly perfect for me. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Like, talk me off this ledge because um, you can love a bag, but sometimes you can't foresee what's going to actually annoy you about the bag. Um, there really isn't much to complain about. Uh, I do wish it did have feet, but that's okay. Um, just such a beautiful classic line from Celine. I would be devastated if they ever got rid of it. But, um, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Celine belt bag. So fun. This is the Louis Vuitton bum bag in the black Ampriant leather. Oh my goodness. I remember when these came out, I was obsessed. I had actually seen them originally in a store in Hawaii while I was on vacation. And I saw it in this color and then the cream. And I tried them on and I was like, Ugh, I don't know. Like they're not very popular. And then I remember leaving and I regret that so much because I did end up buying it finding it. I think I ended up buying it for my essay. I actually bought it at the same time as another bag. Um, but I could have saved a little bit of money buying it in Hawaii, but I'm so happy about this bag. This actually started my love of bum bags. I have Lululemon bug bags. I have, um, obviously some more <laughs> Louis Vuitton bum bags. And I just found that this bag is, this style bag is my cup of tea, it is perfect for my lifestyle. I love that you can extend the strap and wear it as a like shoulder bag. Like you can wear this with like a huge hoodie and it's just so nice for travel to have something close to you. This one's all black, so it is no muss, no fuss. Um, I do kind of wish I grabbed it in the cream color because this has since been discontinued, but this bag is just so great. It's getting softer with time and um, I do have an organizer in here. This one's from Samorga and it's the same color as the orange interior and just to protect it from 
any stains. I have some lottery tickets. What is going on? I guess I didn't win. Um, but clearly you can tell I use my bags because um, they all serve a different look, a different purpose. But this was one of the first bags that really just like were stuck in my brain that I had to have and they weren't, this one actually wasn't very popular. This is very popular now. And I think it's mostly because it's really hard to find. But um, at the time, like I absolutely adored it and I had to have it and um, it was pretty easy to get. Um, just wish that I had bought it in Hawaii and saved a little bit of money on sales tax. So, oh well, we have the bag, we love it. Just such a great bag. Okay, next up is actually my bag that I'm using today, which is it's a little heavy because I have a ton of stuff in here. Um, this is one of my newer purchases. This is a vintage Chanel shoulder bag. It has the CC logo on the front. This is called the Timeless CC Shoulder Bag in Caviar Leather. Um, and it has a huge pocket in the back that actually fits my phone. I will show you. obsessed um and this is uh just a really cool vintage bag i think what i loved about it was the like the size of it i think it holds so much it's still really structured um and for being vintage it's held up so well and it's just a great shoulder bag um i love that it is not just the gold chain with leather um braided chain it's Got a leather strap, makes it so comfortable to wear. It has a Chanel zipper pull. And honestly, I can show you what I brought today with me. I have my Saint Laurent sunglasses case. Um, I have my Louis Vuitton car, uh, business card holder. And I have my Louis Vuitton Agenda uh, MM in here. And then I, I seem to have something in the pocket. Let's see what's in here. There is an interior pocket. Wow, okay, I was looking for this. I have a hairbrush and I have a hair tie. And, oh my God, that's so funny. And a lip liner. I told you, I really do get use out of my bags. Um, I do have a dedicated video to this bag if you are looking for something like it. I included a link to what um, you can save for fashion files since I bought it on there. You can save it as like a search. Um, so if it pops up, you can grab it. It came in a bunch of colors. Uh, I believe it comes in like brown and then like a like a cream taupe color. Um, and this is obviously the black. So there's definitely more out there. I've seen them pop up a little bit more, but they go so fast. Um, mostly because they're a good price point. I think this one was around two. So great bag. Um, obviously it's my daily bag today so i am going to close it back up and put it away but um yeah this is a chanel vintage like i said i love chanel vintage right now okay next up is um also a vintage bag this is the uh papillon bag from louis vuitton and this one is not in vachetta leather it's actually just like a canvas brown strap and this one is so random i do not deny how random this bag is um i've been seeing it pop up on like vintage resale instagrams and i just thought it was so cool um it has like luggage but tennis vibes and i have to tell you like i have not used this bag more than like twice so for the price point i think i paid under nine for it and it came with an adorable mini version of this um like extra little slg so for that i think it's worth it because i've seen those little slgs like sell for like 500 so um i think this is a great little classic ba bag and if i don't end up using it i will sell it but i have a feeling uh i'll start using it a little bit more it's just a like cute little bag and for the price point it's great they've been remaking this bag so honestly grabbing a vintage version was a great idea i just think the quality of it and the way it looks is kind of timeless 
So let's cross our fingers that I get more use out of this one, but it's just so cute, isn't it? Okay, next up, one of my favorites. <laughs> one of everyone's favorites, actually. This is the Louis Vuitton uh, bum bag in monogram with the Bichetta leather. Um, they did make a version of this that was called the world tour version where it came You can actually make it yourself like customize it and you could have made it black leather instead of that, but you had to put a like a sticker on it, so um, I Actually was planning on doing that but ended up Seeing a lady at an airport She was at the international airport and she was wearing this bag But it was so worn in the straps were dark and like super soft and i just fell in love with it and i just thought okay you know what if i'm gonna get the bag i want it to have that character and i want it to be really worn in and i want it to be like a really well-loved bag and so this bag i don't think will ever sell i'm gonna like wear it till the end of time and i do think like the patina on it has already started looking great i did spray this with apple guard um i'll link it below for you guys i get a ton of questions it's just from amazon just a protector for this virgin leather and this bag is great it's a pretty i think it's a decently bigger size than my black one so it's great to have these options and i've been grabbing this one a ton the only thing is even though it's sprayed i still am really careful about bringing it out in the rain i just don't want the leather to get like like too wet and then like anything moldy ha to happen so unless it's treated leather i'm pretty careful about like bringing stuff into the rain so i'll wear this one in the rain and get soaking wet so um but this one is just so wonderful this one also does have a bag organizer oh <sighs> my sunglasses are in here i grab this bag all the time so there's always going to be something in here and it's just so easy to wear and use um, still waiting for this to kind of soften up a little bit but i tend to move the buckle around make sure it's getting an even patina because if you leave it on a certain size for too long it'll have like suntan lines which is really funny because it is it's like a very very light untreated leather so it will leave marks so i try to do that and it's just so great Great bag. Um, I do know this is discontinued and the resale for it is really high to like buy it pretty loved or like it could be brand new but on a like third party site. I do feel like they're gonna come back with another version of it. So hold out for that guys because um, I bought this at Louis Vuitton. I was able to snag one at retail. I <laughs> could not imagine paying as much as everyone's paying for it. But now that I have it, if, if I didn't think they were gonna make a newer version of it i would 100 percent spend the money on it because that's how much i love it and use it and just bum bags yes they're trendy but for me they're just like a staple and i just know that i will use these style bags forever whether or not they're trendy they're going to come back again in style and they're just so functional so love, love. next up is a mark jacobs bag so i'm going to include mark jacobs in this bag haul not bag haul, my bag collection video because to me they are designer they're just not as high of a price point um and this is a bag i bought last year and it is the mark jacobs tote bag in the mini size um great bag i actually bought it because i was traveling a ton for work and i wanted a big a bigger like little tote bigger little tote but i wanted a, a tote this is before i got this lean bag I wanted a tote that I could grab and leave places and not have to stress about it being like designer, like, you know, am I going to an appropriate restaurant, all of that. So this is a great bag. It holds so much um, and it comes with a leather strap. I tend to just grab it as a top handle. Um, I just think that's like the easiest way. But if you're a crossbody strap person, it comes with one. I will say... Um, it's really well made. It has the magnetic little side dongle holder right here. It's just luxurious looking. The only thing I do not like about this bag is that it says the tote bag in such big writing on one side of the bag. And somebody messaged me and said that they painted it um, black. 
So I may do that um, and I get a ton of questions about it, but I bought this so late in the year that I didn't get a chance to use it. So this is definitely gonna be a fall bag for me. I'll give you guys more updates on it, but so far it's just a great price point, really good leather and Marc Jacobs to me is nostalgic because that's what I was saving up for when I was younger and had my first job. Like I was saving up for Marc Jacobs and it was to me like the ultimate. We've graduated, but you know what? It's still a really good quality brand. And if you're looking for something that's well made and it's gonna hold up, I would say definitely look at the tote bag. Do not sleep on these. They're great and they have so many different colors and versions that, and sizes that you can definitely find one that will fit your look and your lifestyle, so. Okay, we're getting closer to the end. Um, and next up is, oh my gosh, my baby. This is the Kusan PM in the cream color. This is a work of art. This is a work of art. This is probably one of my, my husband's favorite bags that I own. He thinks it's beautiful. Um, I actually bought this right after I saw it on the runway. I put a pre-order in for it. So this is one of the first ones that was released on that first release. Um, and I was able to pre-order it with my SA and we didn't think I was gonna get it, but it ended up coming in. Oh my gosh, and I just love it. And I think it is the most luscious marshmallowy bag ever. And at the time, this bag cost around like $35.50. I think now it's $4,700. So like I said, sometimes buying it early on will pay off because without it like increasing in value, it already has like it's increased in price. So this is worth a little bit more or it hasn't lost like value. Um, and I was so worried about having a white bag but I sprayed this with Apple Guard. It's made it stain resistant and I'm just careful about what I wear with it. Like I would wear it with the sweater, but I wouldn't wear it with the denim jacket and I wouldn't wear it with anything black that I haven't washed before. Um, and this bag is definitely more of like a spring summer bag for me. So it tends to go with the lighter colors, white creams, taupes. And so I'm not super worried. It has a green interior and two great straps, um, this and then the chain. Where is the chains in here? Um, I always wear it with one or the other, not both, because it's too heavy to wear both, and they're just completely different vibes. So go with a casual vibe or a dressed up vibe, but this bag has it all, and I definitely would consider it in other colors, um, but definitely probably buy it like pre-loved because I like the squishiness of some of the older ones. The newer ones look a little bit stiffer, so I might be wrong. I'm gonna go in store and check it out, but great bag. Great size, fits a ton, and it's just different. It's cute. Okay, last but not least are my tote bags. I need to definitely speed through this because my camera's gonna die. <sighs> this is the Marc Jacobs Teddy tote bag in a size small. Love this, I just got it. It does come with a canvas strap. Don't tend to wear it. Um, I could, but I'm gonna try to find another strap that I like. Maybe I can use the uh, one for my mini capucines it's black leather i like that better and this actually fits my 13 inch macbook pro and i will have a more in-depth review coming soon but it is such cute fall vibes just got it love okay we have my louis vuitton seren mm in the black on print leather this bag actually has been discontinued at least in the u.s um it's hard to find but you can still find it on pre-loved websites it has three pockets, magnetic, and just a beautiful detailed chain strap with feet and a little mini luggage tag. This is my go-to work bag um, as of right now. It's just a great size and chef's kiss. The leather on this bag is phenomenal. It's a little bit more subtle than like the monogram print on it, but we love. Next up is the <laughs> Beautiful, classic, never full. This is actually my first bag I ever purchased. Um, I got it, what, like 10 years ago? Which is crazy to think, 10 years ago. I remember saving up for it, closing my first big deal at work. Um, I did not treat this bag very well, but it still held up beautifully and I will never sell this bag ever. I do still use it, mostly for like beach trips and or, um, well now I have a, a beach tote, but 
this was like my travel like throw around bag um but i definitely will keep using it and if worst case scenario comes i can always get the leather replaced Louis Vuitton will do that for a fee but this is a classic for a reason it's a great bag great size love okay one of my newer bags love this bag can't wait for another season with it but this is the river gauche tote from saint laurent in the sea salt color i was waiting for this colorway to come along because it's everything and it has gold hardware i have a new dedicated video to all of this and it has an organizer and this has been the best beach and pool tote i could have asked for um plan on bringing this on vacation with me soon but it's great it folds flat so you can carry it in your like pack it in your suitcase and use it while you're traveling or bring it with you um, and it's held up pretty well i will keep you guys posted on this bag but love it okay and last but not least is my on the go gm tote definitely haven't been grabbing this one as often but this is more of a travel bag i used it a ton while i was traveling obviously during covid that wasn't the case anymore but this bag is just absolutely stunning love it so much well guys that was my 2022 bag collection holy moly please leave any comments that you have below questions you can dm me at decor and designer but if you stay through this whole video i love you guys so much what a collection i really need to slim some stuff down but i feel like i love every single bag differently and i use it all differently so thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next video Bye.